The development of the Ka-27 family commenced in 1969, and its inaugural flight took place in 1973. The Ka-27 retains CAMEV's established contrarotating coaxial rotor setup and maintains similar dimensions to its predecessor, the Ka-25. CAMEV stands as the sole company to have achieved mass production of coaxial helicopters. In contrast to the Ka-25, the Ka-27 is larger and notably heavier, yet it boasts more than double the power and showcases improved avionics and a more modern flight control system. The Ka-27 was introduced into service in 1982, initially as the Ka-27PL Anti-Submarine Warfare ASW, version. A total of 296 Ka-27 helicopters and their variants were manufactured. Although production ceased in 2010, it remains a possibility to resume if needed. As of 2020, the Russian Navy operated approximately 90 Ka-27 helicopters of various configurations. The Ukrainian Navy also employed the type, but the fate of these helicopters following the 2014 Russian military actions against Ukraine and the 2022 Russian invasion remains uncertain. The Ka-27 was exported to several other nations, including Algeria, China, India, North and South Korea, and Vietnam. This versatile helicopter has served aboard diverse warships. Distinguished by its absence of a tail rotor, the Ka-27 employs two counter-rotating rotors to ensure stability during flight. Additionally, the helicopter employs shorter rotor blades compared to most other models, resulting in a smaller ship footprint. Its exceptional stability facilitates straightforward flying, enabling automatic height maintenance, smooth transition to and from hovering, and auto-hover capabilities in all weather conditions. Despite its increased weight and larger fuselage in comparison to the Ka-25, the Ka-27 offers superior performance thanks to enhanced avionics and a modern flight control system. The Ka-27 series helicopters operate with a three-person crew, consisting of a pilot, technical coordinator, and operator. These helicopters can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 50 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius, and ship deck landings are feasible up to sea state 5, corresponding to wave heights of 2.5 to 4 meters. Presently, Russia is in the process of developing a new naval helicopter, the Ka-65. The first prototypes were unveiled in 2019. Variants, Ka-27PL, Helix A the primary production variant for anti-submarine warfare, in service since 1982. Buoyancy is achieved through the sealed lower sections of the fuselage, and additional flotation equipment can be added. Equipped with ASW tools, including sonar and radar, it can carry torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and anti-submarine bombs. Operated by a three-person crew. Ka-27 PS, Helix D a search and rescue helicopter, also used for planetary defense. Equipped with radar, it carries external fuel tanks and flotation gear, featuring a hydraulic rescue winch for a 300 kg capacity. Operated by a three-person crew. Ka-27M, an improved version undergoing testing and evaluation by the Russian Navy, featuring new radar and enhancements. Ka-28, Helix A an export version ordered by China, India, Vietnam, and Yugoslavia, with revised avionics. Ka-29, Helix B a naval assault transport helicopter for Russian Navy amphibious operations, introduced in 1985. Around 59 were produced and used by Russia and Ukraine. Ka-31, an airborne early warning helicopter, derived from the Ka-29, designed for long-range threat detection. Ka-32, Helix C a simplified civilian version used in Russia and exported to various countries, including some Western nations. Ka-32K, a civilian flying crane. Ka-32S, a specialized version for icebreaker operations, suitable for tasks like ice patrolling, search and rescue, and oil rig support, equipped with radar. Ka-32T, a civilian transport helicopter with simplified avionics, 
capable of carrying passengers or cargo with a payload capacity of up to 4,000 kg internally or 5,000 kg externally.